What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, Mike. Let me set these down. What is up, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. I hope all of you guys are doing absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Yo, yo, no free spots. I'm just kidding. Coffee, Mike, it's coffee. But I hope everybody's having an amazing freaking day. Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, we're rocking and rolling as usual. We're hitting it hard and we're grinding, ladies and gentlemen. So I really wanted to get nitty and gritty for today's video and show you guys my exact chest day, chest and try. So like I said, uh, my split right now is Monday, shoulders and biceps, Tuesday, chest and triceps, Wednesday, back, Thursday, legs, um, Friday, upper body focus, Saturday, core and cardio, Sunday, off day. Now, don't get it mistaken, in this workout regimen that I have right now, I do cardio every single day, 15 to 30 minutes a day, really 30 minutes a day, and we do core on Thursdays and Saturdays, and my core workout kind of changes here and there, but really I always aim to hit the, the main, the V-line, and the obliques. That's uh, so really three exercises on each of those days, but that's my current schedule. So I want to show you the exact chest day, what I'm doing to really pump up the chest and the triceps, because remember we're growing. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. And for everybody that's watching this, happy freaking holidays. I hope you guys prosper, uh, prosper limitless for real. I do hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. And I mean, just be positive. Like positivity is mad, extremely, extremely important when trying to achieve your goals, when trying to do anything, like the positivity always wins, but overall happy freaking holidays, ladies and gents. I hope you're writing your goals down for the new year. I hope you're you're putting systems in place, right, to achieve those goals, to become better, create new habits, create healthier habits. Uh, from anything, from starting a new business to eating healthier, put systems in place to achieve those goals and you can do it. But it all starts with being positive, but happy freaking New Year's, guys. So. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you do know, I don't do uh, energy drinks right now. We're trying to aim as natural as possible, even with things like pre-workout. Um, so, like I said, we have a coffee slash cappuccino right here. This is half black dark Fianna roast or dark roast coffee with a sugar-free and fat-free French vanilla cappuccino and the other half of that is a sugar-free white chocolate cappuccino. So there there can be some things said about sugar-free products, uh, which I completely agree with, but I think this is way better than an energy drink. But that's what we're having for our pre-workout. Uh, I'm right about down with it. And what I really enjoy about coffee, yo, is like, Energy drinks, you have to drink them way early before your workout. It's recommended to drink it 30 minutes before your workout, but with a coffee, like I can sip it right until I walk in the doors. And by the way, if you do take pre-workouts or energy drinks, drink it 30 minutes before your workout to get the best outcome out of that energy drink. Don't drink it throughout your workout or else you're gonna be leaving feeling like you still need to work out. You know what I mean? You're like, obviously do whatever you want, right? But the best way to get the most out of that pre-workout or energy drink is by taking it 30 minutes before your workout so then it hits you at the right time, right? But with coffee, you can kind of like drink it, you know, I like to drink it right before I even start working out because it's not as much caffeine in this and it's not as much like stuff as an energy drink would have. So for me, it just feels like it hits perfectly. You know what I mean? Energy wise, I feel like it does exactly what I want it to do. So that's what we're having for the pre-workout. Now for the gym fit, yo, we've got the LA hat. Shouts out to my amazing girlfriend for that. We've got the LA hat, we got the white tank, yo, and we've got the black sweats. Tucked in, tucked in, mm, tucked in, baby. That is what we're having for the gym fit. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right, awesome. Big tip for hitting your workouts get you some cologne. We're gonna one, one. You know, if you don't want to spread too much cologne, you don't want to be the axe guy where it's like, oof. You don't want to enrage everybody's smelling sense, right? But two on the neck, you know, for safety precaution, then we're going to go one on the, on the wrist, okay? 
Just like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So as you're, as we're lifting, go. You know, the beautiful, beautiful scent as we're lifting weights. Never be musty at the gym, bro. It's one thing if you just mistakenly didn't wear deodorant, right? That's one thing. It's another thing, bro, if you just don't, if you know you're musty and you just like, just don't, don't be musty, you know what I mean? I don't know, you go natural. Put some lemon in your armpits or something. Just don't be musty at the gym. Because your boy Fidel has, I'm talking from experience. Since I'm showing you all the whole gym fit, I've got to show you the kicks. Shouts out to the bro for letting me borrow these. That's the cool thing, guys. When you have brothers, y'all are all the same size shoe. You know what I mean? Or most of the time. Unless, like, Shaquille O'Neal or somebody's your brother, anyways. Um, most of the time, y'all are the same size. So that is what we were rocking for the kicks. Now, usually, I go with a pump cover. Not gonna lie, because I really, really enjoy pump covers. Uh, but... Feeling a little frisky, frisky for the disky. So we're going no pumpy cover today for the gym. We're just gonna go tank. The thing right now with chest days for me is like no joke, my shoulder, my left shoulder sometimes, it'd be, on, it'd be standing on funny business. And what I mean by that is if I really, really don't like, give it a really, really good stretch or something like that, uh, I kind of like I didn't hurt it or whatever, right? But in rest, when I when I was wrestling, I definitely you know put it through a lot. So uh, my left shoulder on really, really heavy chest days does start to act funny, and obviously over time that can really hurt your cartilage and your muscle and your tendons and all that. And so one of my new ways I've been training is lighter weight, more reps, right? So there's obviously there's two ways you can do it when it goes to the gym. Well, there's a million ways you can do it, but when you sum it up to two, it's heavy weight, less reps, or light weight, a ton of reps. Now, I know I know you're probably like, oh, bro, I can do 100 for 10. Well, that means it's not that heavy for you then, you know what I mean? I'm talking about heavy weight to where you can only do like five or six. That's what I used to do is I would like literally go 120 pound dumbbells and just do it for five or six. Um, but I would warm up with lighter weight, obviously, before that. I don't want my shoulder to hurt just because of one set or whatever, so the kind of training I've been going through is lightweight, more reps, and uh, my shoulder's been dealing with it really, really well. That's the angle we're gonna hit training today, is lighter weight, a ton of reps, and for chest day, I only do, or really for any, any day of exercise right now, I only do five to six exercises, okay? So five to six exercises, um, three to five sets per exercise. Now, I only do four or five sets on the major muscles, okay? So for example, on chest and triceps, I'll do, on the chest exercises, I'll do four sets, right? Four or five sets per exercise, but on triceps, I'll only do three. Because figuratively speaking, right, on, on bench press, you're still working your triceps, right? Like everything's connected. But when I'm aiming individually for the triceps, I only do three sets on those exercises. But for chest or for the major muscle exercise, I do roughly like four or five sets uh, to really give it that cherry on top. But doing that with only six exercises, you know what I mean? You're in and out of the gym, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on your focus level. And that's whenever you used to, that's whenever you throw in the cardio. And then you're at the gym for roughly like, you know, hour 15 to hour and a half. And yeah, I mean, if you can go in the gym super, super focused, you'll be in and out. But so like, bro, the gym's fun. For me, the gym's really, really fun. So I really enjoy being there. However, <clears throat> you want to get the job done because your muscles reach a certain point of like, yo bro, like we've really worked hard and then you're sprinkling on it, you know what I mean? So really, really push your push your muscles to the absolute limit and then get, and then feed your body the best things and you'll notice great, great outcomes in your muscle. Now we are ready for the gym, baby. It's gonna be a step by step. So I really, really do believe this chest day will help you grow your chest and take it to the next level. So follow along for a fantastic workout. And also, baby, we are mic'd up. One second. We are mic'd up for today's workout, so that's really, really good because that gives it a even more in-depth um, 
idea of how to get the job done to really push yourself to grow. Now, this gym kind of plays the music like obnoxiously loud and it's fine, obviously, like I love it, I love this gym, uh, but I'm going to do my best to make sure you can hear what I'm saying clearly uh, at any cost, baby. So let's go ahead and start rocking and rolling. One big thing I like to do to really warm up the chest muscles or the pectoral muscles is some push-ups before my workout. And I even do them as one of the main exercises for my workout. So push-ups, we're gonna hit like, you know, 25, 50 to really get the muscles nice and ready to get pumped. Uh, and that also warms up the triceps as well. Really warm up to the, warms up the whole upper body to have a fantastic workout. And so let's get it. To start out this chest day, you can either go chest, try, chest, try, or do all your chest exercises and all your triceps exercises. But what I've found most beneficial to me is uh, starting with tricep and then going into chest to really get those arms nice and ready for a good chest exercise. So we're starting exercise number one with cable rope push downs or push throughs, whatever you want to call it, to really get that T-bone steak on the grill, baby. Let's go. So I always like to come down just a little bit, just like that. We're not like 90 degree, but we're like obtuse. And then we're gonna push right through till our arms are straightened out, but not just like that. And then we're back up. And when we're coming up, guys, we're not moving these elbows like, like crazy, okay? So we're, elbows are right here, boom, just like that. We're up, 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 again, just like that. We're going for three sets of 10 to 12 reps on these. Now, if you really want to push it, if you want to be a dog, go for 10 to 15. You know me, baby. Let's go. Really, put your mind-muscle connection, baby. Focus on growing that T-bone steak. Ugh. Harder, more. It's those last reps that count the most. Ooh. Nice. Now we're going on to chest exercise number one, incline dumbbell chest press. Now, fun fact, the incline part of your chest, the upper chest, is the harder part to build. So today's workout is heavily focused on incline movement with one entire pectoral movement. So chest exercise number one, incline dumbbell chest press. And we're aiming for, uh, like I said, lighter weight, more reps. So five sets of 10 to 15 reps. Let's go. So we're going 50s. I started out with uh, 35s, then I went to 40, then 45, 50 and then I'm double tapping on dumbbell 50s. So right up here, boom, okay? We don't wanna go past that 90 degree mark, all right? We wanna be here when we're coming down. So right there, boom, just like that. 90, boom. You can go a little bit past 90, but the reason I don't want you going too far past 90 is because your shoulders start to get involved and we're really trying to focus heavily on just the pectoral muscles, right? So here we go, perfect repetitions. You feel it right in the pectoral area, because again, if you go way too far down, you start pulling on the shoulders. It's not shoulder day today. We're not focused on the shoulders with this exercise. We're focused on the pecs. So right there, perfect repetition, five sets of 10 to 15. Oof. <sighs> harder, right, harder, right. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, beautiful repetitions right there. When you're going lighter, Lighter weight, more reps, put the ego to the side. It's okay to go light, but it's always about the intent level of intensity we're going at, okay? So I'm going lightweight, but I'm pushing harder than a mofo. That chest exercise was vicious. Now we're moving on to tricep exercise number two, okay? And we're gonna go, mind you, there's a million kind of tricep exercises you can do. These seem to be the most beneficial for me, and I really feel like they'll be very beneficial for you if you do them right. Next, we're moving on to cable, straight bar, slash curl bar, tricep push down. So the way we want to do this, y'all, is let me hook you up, yo. So similar to the rope push down, we're going to bring down the bar, and we're going to bend over just a bit. Not like this, and not straight up. We're going to bend over just a bit. Okay, and the thing, the awesome thing about cables is it's tension based, all right? So we're gonna come all the way down just like that. As you can see, the tricep is straightened out when we do that. And then when we come up, we don't wanna go loose. We don't wanna lose the tension. You know, we're, we're on the cables for tension. 
So we're gonna go all the way down, and as we're coming up, we wanna come up roughly like 80-ish um, degrees, okay? So about 80 degrees, we wanna come up, because if we come up too loose, we lose tension. We wanna keep tension, so again, down, up, 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 tension at its highest point, push down, just like that. All right, and for this, three sets of 10 to 15 reps. High intensity today, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, it all comes down to how hard you're pushing the reps. It doesn't matter how much weight you're using. I mean, unless you're using like three pounds, but if you're going light, if you can really, really push the limit here, you'll have an insane workout. And again, really growing these triceps because the arms are 70% tricep, 20 30% bicep. And so if you really want some bigger arms, you gotta grow the triceps. Ugh. Great, great, great. As you can see, we got the T-bone steak forming, baby. Let's go. On to chest exercise number dos. We've got another incline. Like I said, we're really focused on building the upper part of the chest the incline. So there's three variations we can go off of this, okay? We can either do incline bench press, lightweight. We can do machine incline press, or we can do incline dumbbell parallel grip press, okay? Or shoot, let's say four. You can even do incline dumbbell press again. It's really, really up to you. As long as you're pushing that upper pectoral muscle, I promise you it will grow. However though, for this workout, we're going with the incline bench press, okay? So we're right around a plate for this one. We're, same thing. We want to come right about here and push up all the power. The, the highest point of tension is right here in the tricep, in the, in the pectoral, I'm sorry, okay? So here, boom. You don't want to come here. We're pulling our tendons right there. That's not comfortable. And I know it's all about getting uncomfortable to grow, but you want your shoulders when you're growing, G. So boom, all right, right here. Down, 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 and boom, up. Nice, just like that. Just like that, mate. All right, and this, we're going four to five sets. Again, 10 to 15 reps, mate. We're really chasing gold here. Freak gold, we're chasing platinum, baby. And if you need a spotter, get a spotter. I mean, the goal is to really push yourself here. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Push, push, push. We've got incline bench tricep press. Okay, so we're gonna come down right about here. Boom, get the weight and then press up just like that, all right? Now the goal is to come up to this acute angle and then push up because we don't wanna Again, we're really focused on not hurting the shoulders. Boom, up, just like that. Let's go ahead and grab our weight. We're starting up in the air, kind of like a, a parallel incline dumbbell press, but we're gonna come down right here. Boom, press it. We're not straightening out the elbows. That's too much pressure on the elbows. Boom, 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 acute angle, bam, just like that. Right here, we're going four. We're going three sets of, again, 10 to 15 reps. Boom, just like this. Really aiming for gold right here, gentlemen. This is a great tricep finisher. <clears throat> for the exercise that's gonna aim for the entire pectoral muscle, we've got machine chest flies. That is a great one, and I'm gonna show you a little trick that aims for the incline chest. We want to come right about here, boom. And then we're gonna go for this, the regular grip. We're gonna go four to five sets of 10 to 15 reps on this machine. Now, once you hit about 10, right, to get that little trick in the incline chest, we want to come up above the pec to above the incline pectoral, okay? So about here, and then we're gonna bring it in like this. You should feel it much, much more in the upper pectoral area, which is great since we're really aiming to grow the upper chest. Just like that. Boom, baby. Great, great chest exercise. That right there is the chest and triceps workout to really, really push for growth. Now, if you want the sprinkle on top, bro, the cherry, the whipped cream, everything, bro, if you really wanna finish this workout with a bang, I always suggest doing push-ups at the end of it because push-ups, it almost is or completely is 100% of your upper body. So we wanna aim for 100 to 120 push-ups depending on how much of that dog you got in you, bro. So right now, to give this workout a absolute golden Terry on top, we're gonna go for 120 push-ups.
that was something, mate. That workout was absolutely nuts. And I'm not gonna lie, I was actually extremely surprised by the pump. Uh, one, it was a different place. I was like, let me, let me, let me go somewhere else for posing. And that spot literally turned out to be freaking awesome. So the posing was great, the workout was great. Now when you're doing these exercises, like I said, it's really up to you how you wanna attack it, heavyweight uh, light reps or lightweight heavy reps. But through it all, it all comes down to how hard you're pushing yourself. Like, like you know, if, if, if you're doing four sets of five or four sets of 10, right? but you feel like you've got more in you. And what I mean by that is you did those sets and you're like, oh, like I'm not even, like it didn't take anything out. You need to up the weight and really push it, okay? I know whatever, a program or, I know sometimes we'll just say, oh, four sets of 10. You need to make those four sets of 10 or whatever the rep and set and rep count is, you need to make it worth it. You need to give it your all every single exercise. That's why I say four to six exercises is enough for a great workout but you need to be giving it your all every single set, every single exercise to really, really get the absolute most and have a fantastic workout. And aside from having a fantastic workout, we want to push to grow. And in order to grow, we need to take our muscles to what? New standards, baby, new limits. So that right there was the chest and triceps day. I hope, I hope it was absolutely amazing for you and I really, really want you to give it a try because again, it's an absolute banger. And if you want that sprinkle on top, I always suggest doing some body weight work after. In this case, it was 120 body weight push-ups. But ladies and gentlemen, that was the video. I really, really do hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see next and what your favorite part of the video was if you're new here. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Quote of the video. You know we have to do the quote of the video. The quote of the video is, you are a victim of the rules you live by. And what that means is, you set the rules for yourself. You set the record for yourself. You set the limits for yourself. So always remember that. You are a victim of the rules you live by. In this case, if you believe you, you can be great, you can be great. It, it, you, what you can achieve all depends on how big you believe. Okay, so that's the, that's the quote of the video. You are a victim of the rules you live by. See you guys in the next video.